Hello everyone, this is Aaron again. I want to do a follow-up review. I reviewed a product back in September, I think it was September 28th, and I called it the best little hunting and pesting blind for all weather conditions. And I said at that time that I did that video, if you want to check it out, uh, look into my videos and it will be dated September 28th uh, of 2020 and check it out but I said in that day, I would love to take this thing out in the winter time and see how it worked out as a uh, ice fishing blind and so that's what this video is about it's about going out and getting that now uh, the blind we're talking about of course uh, is the Ameristep tent shear ground blind that's, that's a lot but I'll put it right here so you can see it the total name now this one here uh, the one that I originally used, it was given to me by a friend. He had upgraded to a two-chair one. And so he gave it to me. And I used it in the video, but it had a few tears in it and that. I fixed those, of course. But I decided, hey, just go ahead and get one. Now, I found this one here after a lot of searching. I always try to find the best deal. I always look everywhere before you buy. All Everywhere I looked, it was $110 was the cheapest I could find it. And it went all the way up to some places, $150. I found it at Amazon free shipping for $91. So um, that was the best for me. But the thing that got me so high on this thing is this. Um, overall, as you check out in the video, I love the portability of it. I love how comfortable it is. I love how it would stand up to all weather conditions. But now I can tell you that I also love it as a uh, ice fishing blind. This thing is wonderful. You throw it on your arm. Walk out on ice or and uh, carry your pole or whatever you got to take along with you or have a sled, throw it on a sled and pull it or whatever. And when you get out there, you pop this thing up, start fishing. Now what was amazing was this. When I got on the ice, there was a lot of guys out there, probably within the area we were in, there were probably at least 15, 20 guys. And uh, when I set this chair down and started fishing, they were sitting on it. Some were sitting on buckets, some were actually inside uh, big ice uh, shanties. And uh, I popped this thing over my head. I didn't see their reaction there, but when I popped it back to get out, every head turned because everybody was wondering, what the heck is that? Uh, and so it did turn some heads because, of, because again, it's so small and, you, and it's so convenient, and you're gonna see in the video that it works so well. So with that, I just wanna go ahead and we're gonna go out on the ice and uh, do a quick review of this and just leave it right there. I won't be coming back in here to the studio here. Uh, we'll just close it out out there. But I think you ought to agree with me that this thing is great for $91. So let's go out on the ice now and uh, check this thing out. Well, we're out here on the ice today uh, with my nephew over there. He's in his, uh, his shanty over there. I have down here our blind. I'm really crazy about this blind, as you know. That's the blind. And, uh, basically, all we have to do is go around to get in it like such and then once you're sitting down the inside this thing all you need to do is just flip it over that's the nice thing about it it pops over and down uh, start fishing so let me flip this thing and once you flip it over you're inside zip that up and uh and start fishing or you could just leave that little gap in there if you want that I have there if it's not too cold or not too windy. Turn your back to the wind and you got it made. So, just that simple. And you're inside, you got a views outside if you want to see what's going on out. Get around. Uh, check, out. You can check out what your neighbors are doing. What, they're catching anything. Move to some new spots if you have to. So, that's how it works. And then back inside. Okay, we're in the shanty now and we are ice fishing from inside the shanty. And uh, there's more than enough room to uh, to do the ice fishing. And uh, only thing I would say is that uh, you need to make sure that you uh, use the shortest pole possible. For, for fishing out of it, but boy, it's really, really comfortable in here. Okay. 
All right, we're back and I zipped it all the way up. The only thing as you notice, I have to push it out with my feet a little bit because it really wants to close up over the fold just a tiny bit as you can see, but not enough to bother. Uh, but as you can see it's from inside here, if I were to pack some snow around the outside, you wouldn't have a lot of light and it would actually be black in here. Totally black in here. But so ice fishing, this thing works really, really good. And boy, it does keep the wind off of you. Uh, although there's a little, because it doesn't go all the way down to the ground, you do get a little air coming underneath that with those stuff there. But compared, but compared to what's going on outside, that's nothing. So yes, this is a, uh, I really do like uh, like this sandy. And I found this one on Amazon, and I think I paid, uh, how much did I pay for this thing? $91. That was the cheapest I found. Everywhere else it was $110 to 100, 150 actually, I saw it in some places. So, I'll come back in a minute. We're going to try to catch a fish now. Okay, you guys. Here's my first fish ever caught in the channel. And, uh, we're going to see it pulled in. And it's a speck. This is the first fish I ever caught in the shanty. And so it's working well. All right, that's one down. Finally got a fish, David. Okay, we're out here on the ice, and I got my uh, nephew over there. He's in the in the professional thing. But I'm telling you, this, this little thing here, guys, it really, really works well. Um, I'm, there's my fish pole there. There's the first fish I ever caught in it. And I hope to catch a lot more. So I'm gonna come ice fishing when I have this, cause I don't want to get something big. I bring you just bring this over like that and and get inside it and it, it's warm put a little heater in there you'll be warm all day turn your back to the wind and and just fish I do a surround of it before going back in and try to get some more fish uh, I'll show you all the fish we caught at the end but the Sun is starting to settle a little bit so we got a few hours before we finish but as I was saying what you can do is you can you can uh, actually crack it right there and when you crack it uh, and fish just out of it or you can pull it forward uh, and it would be a little bit more comfortable with a shorter pole I think this is a, like a 20 uh, like a 32 inch or something okay let's go back inside The wind has just picked up. Probably can hear and see the tent shaking. And uh, I've turned this heater on, and it's probably 80 degrees in here right now. And yet I can still uh, keep fishing and uh, be quite comfortable in this thing. It's kind of tight. If you look around, it's kind of tight. But I tell you, it beat the alternative of being outside. And I, I usually turn the heater on for about five minutes, and I turn off for about 15 and on for five and it's more than enough to heat me back up I could stay out here all night in this thing so just want to show you this thing is really really great um, so so far I've only caught one fish but we hope to get some more uh, my nephew's over there he's probably got a bunch because he's got he has a uh, fish flasher that tells them when the fish are down there and when they're biting. Anyway, back to fishing. Another real good thing about this thing is that right now the wind is blowing hard. Hope you can hear it, but the wind is blowing really hard. And the fact that I'm sitting in the chair and this thing is attached to the chair, uh, I don't have to worry about trying to stick it down to the ice. It's automatically staked down with me sitting in it. So that's another great thing about this. But with this heater, again, nice and toasty in here. Uh, only got a few fish, but it's just fun being out here and being this warm. I really wish I could get a better angle of this, but I can't because I'm using my phone. And it just uh, won't get any wider. Anyway. Just wanted to report this thing really works well in the wind. 
And you can see it shaking. If you look, you can probably see it shaking and fluttering from the wind. So, it's pretty good out here. Okay, just another report. So, we're getting ready to get out of here. I got, uh, I just caught the one, but I was just fishing. Just handed. I didn't have any electronics or anything with me. But anyway, it's all about this thing right here. And I'll tell you, this is this thing is great. You can just again, you can just sit in the seat. You can just sit in the seat, and then when you wanna, you get, if you get a little cold, you just take this, flip it up, and you're fishing. Crack a little hole in it. You can uh, have the hole outside as I do here, or you can have the hole inside. Flip it back like that, and you're done. It's just up and down, up and down, really, really easy. Worth the money, year round, not just for pesting or hunting. You can also bring it out on the ice, an ice fish. But over here, David was using a electronics, so he was able to get some uh, some nicer fish. And so I'm going to look into some electronics next day, next time. But his system is a real system, as you can see. But this system here. Or just going out by yourself and just being on the ice for a while and being warm and cozy can't beat it anyway uh, it's just another way you can use this thing hope you'll be uh, using it a lot more maybe I'll post another video ice fishing with it when I can do better than one fish <laughs> all right you guys have a good one keep it safe